Capital and Container Board make an interesting combination when you're talking about growth and income stocks. Todd Bunton, our growth and income stock strategist, is going to tell us why each one is on his radar this week. Uh, each related company related to capital is Blackstone Group, BX, the ticker symbol. They're actually um, a manager of private capital. Yeah. Well, I'd say, I'd say uh, alternative assets. Um, you think of private equity funds. Uh, they have hedge fund solutions, real estate funds, um, also like alternative credit funds. Um, $248 billion in assets under management. So they're a huge player in that market. They actually saw a tremendous increase in assets under management uh, year over year in the third quarter. They just reported their third quarter results on October 17th. Uh, very solid results, uh, but assets under management rose 21% year over year. Wow. Again, you know, that's, that's driven a lot by positive inflows into their funds, but also because of strong capital markets. So, you know, as the market goes higher, it kind of raises their AUM and that increases uh, fee income. Actually, economic net income for them rose 59% year over year. So very, uh, very solid, stable uh, earnings momentum here. Uh, as long as the markets continue to move higher, mm -hmm. this, is a, this is an area you'd want to be in. And uh, analysts revised their estimates pretty significantly higher after the, their last uh, earnings report. Sent it to a Zach's rank of two, which is a buy rating. So very good earnings momentum. And if you look, based on consensus estimates, analysts expect 35% earnings per share growth this year and 24% growth next year. So very, very excellent growth story here. Again, that's predicated on, uh, you know, a, a nice, uh, I wouldn't say it's tied directly to the stock market, but just uh, financial markets in general. As those do better, Blackstone will do better. You make it all sound so tenuous. <laughs> well, yeah, if, you know, <laughs> if, if uh, the market tanks, this is kind of a higher beta stock. This is an area you'd want to be in. So you just got to keep an eye out for that. But, but right now, the, you know, the party's going on, and, and they're, uh, they're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. um, not only that, not only do they have strong earnings growth, though, but very solid dividend. They pay a dividend that yields 3.3%, and that's been increasing over the last uh, few quarters. And if their earnings can grow at the, you know, 35 20 and 24%, I'd expect that distribution increase, too. So very good income to go along with growth, and all that at a very reasonable price. They trade right around 10 times forward earnings, so there's some value to go along with the good growth and income metrics here. Yeah, good dividend yield. Yeah, absolutely. 3.2%. Well, yeah, good. that's not bad. That's what, what more do you want out right. of a stock, right? <laughs> all right, the Container Board Company is Packaging Corp. of America, PKG. What's going on here? Yeah, they're the fourth largest producer of uh, container board uh, product and corrugated products. So uh, they're really the, the only uh, pure play uh, uh, maker here. But uh, very solid earnings momentum going on here. They've seen not only a solid increase in prices of corrugated products and container board, uh, but also strong volumes as well. And they just delivered a very solid beat on October 14th. It was actually their third straight positive earnings surprise. And again, that was driven by solid prices and volumes, um, and that fell through to the bottom line. And if you take a look, analysts revised their estimates significantly higher for the stock after the last beat. Mm -hmm. I brought with me the price and consensus chart, and you can see a nice upward trend in consensus estimates for both 2013 and 14. It's currently a Zach, Zach's rank of two, which is a buy rating. And if you look at growth estimates, analysts expect 50% earnings growth from this company this year and 17% growth next year. So not bad for what m people might consider a, a bull business but again very very solid price increases uh, are expected uh, in this industry over the next couple of years and they've been seeing it over the last few quarters so uh, they also made an acquisition of Boise and analysts uh, raised their estimates because of that so uh, they're growing in organically as well but but very good earnings momentum here good growth story and a very solid income they pay a dividend that yields 2.6 percent they've actually in, uh, doubled their payout since 2011. Yeah. So very good, in, very shareholder-friendly company, um, and all that at a reasonable price. They trade about 17 times forward earnings. That's right in line with the industry average. Considering the favorable uh, earnings momentum, the growth, and the income here, I'd say there's a lot to like. All right. you're, you're not talking about magnitude or any of that kind not, of stuff? Not uh, this time, this no. Time around? That's, all, that's all wonderful, too. You can go to the estimates page on, on, this, on their uh, ticker and look at it. It's pretty nice. All yeah. right. Do you own either of these two? I do not. All right. Check out other stock picks and stock picking strategies on our website, zax.com. If you're out there in syndication land watching, get on over. Check back often because those picks and strategies change often. With Todd, I'm Terry Ruffalo.